Welcome to part 3 of SQL reporting service. In the last tutorial we saw how do we install the SSRS using an SQL setup. Then we checked uh, the SQL, um, I mean the services in which we saw, you know, SQL reporting service uh, which we had in here. And as you can see our reporting service is running fine and if you check out the properties it is running at the network service all right so this is cool next thing what happens is we need to browse these reports and you to see like if they are installed correctly so what do we do is we come here and then we go to configuration tool and then click on reporting service and as you click I got three instances of SQL SSRS test and cool and right now we are using the cool which I've showed you the last time we have installed the cool and we have the reporting databases in place right so we are back in the reporting service configuration let's connect once you connect you can see your services running under the network service you got a service URL which uh, we need to remember because we'll be uh, needing that at the time of deployment the database I showed you already and the report manager URL a lot of time that happens like you know when you click this URL it gives you a prompt it asks you for an authentication in my recommendation uh, if you have a local user and who, who does not have an administrator rights so what is going to happen is you're going to get an error it's like you know uh, that you don't have a sufficient pr privileges and it won't let you do the thing so in my case what I did uh, was a solution which I'm not sure I'm right or wrong but uh, it pretty worked for me so what I did is uh, I created one more account uh, by a name of an administrator okay I mean so I and I gave him a privileges of administrator and and then it pretty works so if I click OK now so it's gonna take a while okay and after which it's gonna give me a console where I can see everything regarding my reports like if I'm creating any reports or I'm displaying any uh, reports or creating any folders any data sources etc etc <coughs> I can see around over here right and uh, it is getting loaded so and you always need to work with this because this is an important thing to remember and if you check out the background the URL changes from cool slash pages slash folder dot ESPX. it will show you what you have in here if I want to create a new folder I can create a new folder uh, let's say okay this is new B reports and simply hit OK so as you can see I have the folder is created with some uh, meaningful description I can go inside I can have my reports and all right or I can come outside I can have a detail view I can click home and I can go back so this is what I have right so this is so cool so far apart from that uh, on the right hand side you can see the site settings in which you can see the general settings which you can configure by your priorities and at the same time you got security settings you can add new roles based on which the security works all right so this is the basic what we have now the question comes in your mind that how these reports are being served I mean like this is the name of my PC so I'll change it to localhost I mean it's one and the same gives you an authentication and it asks you and you're the same you land at the very same page everything is same right so now it appears to me like it is coming from an IIS so what I'll do is I'll hit start R I'll run I'll type inet MGR and I'll hit enter and I can open my uh, 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 IIS in IIS you can see I got like nothing literally nothing I got no virtual directory or anything and still you are very much capable of viewing these pages via localhost if I go something like this if I'll pick uh, localhost and I go control N I'm sorry not the control N new tab and I say uh, localhost and enter so you can see the IIS this is the default website which gives you right and at the very same time so where are these reports so in 2008 they have removed uh, the dependency of IIS in terms of uh, the reporting service internally it might be there but the, uh, the virtual directories are not visible in here from the configuration uh, you can see uh, like this is a virtual directory I mean it is somewhere else somewhere it is managed somehow internally it is linked but we don't know if you want to change the name of the virtual directory you can change it or you have the advanced options you can play around with that in the meantime I'll show you like where these reports are located so if you need to find these reports so what you can do is you can go to your C drive uh, where you have installed the SQL 
go to program files then Microsoft SQL Server where are you alright I got you and then cool inside of which you will find reporting service under which you will find uh, report server and inside of which you will find pages not this one I'm sorry report manager and then pages and then you can see all the pages the folder dot ESPX it has to be there okay it's it's there right so it is coming from here the pages which you are viewing but it is mapped somehow to the IIS I don't know how <coughs> but you guys are capable of seeing this alright and don't worry about this new data source folder settings and upload file we'll get back to that you know later on so from this video you actually got an idea like you know uh, what is uh, the SQL browser issues like uh, I mean you will get once you install the SQL and uh, uh, so the chances are that, that you might end up with the issues alright and the next thing we saw like from where these reports are served alright so, so we have successfully completed this video uh, if you have any queries or problems please do let me know and if you like this video then please subscribe thank you for watching